Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm here with HollywoodLife.com's editor-in-chief, Bonnie Fuller. Hi. And we are going to talk about Justin Bieber's really big Memorial Day weekend, which included some major legal problems, it seems now. So, Bonnie, first of all, can you explain to our readers and viewers at home what happened? Well, it was a really unfortunate situation. Justin and Selena went out on a date. They went to see Men in Black 3, which is really sweet. He's, he has a cameo in the movie. He's got a very funny spot. I saw it. And when they came out, apparently his car was blocked by the paparazzi. He had words with the paparazzi. Seems uh, an alleged scuffle occurred, and now the paparazzi is claiming that he got hurt and that Justin was the aggressor, and the police in, in L.A. want to talk to Justin. Now, we happen to learn exclusively at HollywoodLife.com that Selena was very calm. She really tried to be the mediator. She, you know, like, made sure that things kind of settled down very quickly, helped Justin back with his hat on, his shoes on. But this is a pretty serious situation. But so, Bonnie, are you telling me, did Justin actually physically assault this photographer? We don't know this. It's allegations. That's what he's claiming. However, the L.A. police wants him to come in for questioning. And we've now heard from a top attorney that if he, when he does go in for the questioning, because he's going to have to, that he could be arrested on the spot. All right, so if he is arrested, now that he's 18 years old, is there any way to get this off of his record and what's going to happen once he gets arrested like will he do community service you think it's ha really hard to say um, it's he's been charged with a misdemeanor it's not a really serious offense though if he's convicted it carries with it a maximum of six months in jail that is not going to happen. But wait, so where is Justin though right now? How, is he in LA? Where is he? What is he doing? He's actually flown to Norway and he's going to be in Europe and then in Canada and in the States touring, wait, doing so, promotional does, events does, for the next little while. Does this mean, Bonnie, that he fled from the police? Or? No, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. He would have had all this set up. Okay. He is going on his normal business. I'm sure he's been advised by his attorney. That's okay. The police will see him when, they, when he is available. And I'm sure that he will do that now the problem is is if he ends up getting uh, uh, you know convicted uh -huh. or he pleads to uh, some kind of a charge that involves probation is that because he's a he's 18 he's an adult that getting off probation is always a problem oh no and then what, what's gonna happen he's gonna spiral out of control like a Lindsay Lohan and be in and out of court I mean hopefully if he, he'll just go ahead and plead guilty if it gets to that so he doesn't have to go to trial because he doesn't have time to do that but I want to know how is his girlfriend Selena Gomez dealing with all of this right now well, first of all, I want to address the pleading guilty. Okay. I'm sure he doesn't want. I'm sure he doesn't feel guilty. You know, there's always two sides to every story. Right. So we haven't seen what his side is, and let's just hope that you know this all gets resolved amicably. But Selena is putting on literally a happy face. Literally, she right. wore a dress. She went to a party the day after this. Once I guess Justin had left for Europe, and she wore a dress that had a big happy face on it, and she wore her J ring. Okay, so I think all in all, showing support. She's for her sending a very beloved. positive message, like you can't hurt us. We're okay. We're a strong, united front. That's right. We're, we love each other. I'm standing by you. Now, do you have any advice for Justin as a woman who can do it? all, mother of four, <laughs> how do you manage the stress and, and don't snap and start giving the middle finger to everyone all the time? I think Justin, he's got to take a bit of a chill pill. Maybe his, his management needs to lighten up his schedule. I know that he's very busy promoting his second album. We know it's going to be great. His new song was released today. I want to die in your arms. However, he is only 18 years old. He's under a tremendous amount of pressure. And I think that it would a lot of people would snap in some way being under the kind of pressure that he's under. So I think that he needs a vacation. He needs a little less pressure. Well, you heard the prescription from Bonnie right here of what Justin should do to try to alleviate some of the stress so that this doesn't happen again. All right, so for all the latest on Justin and for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com. That's right. Bye, Hollywood Lifers.